Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiffany and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own stick on mat. Now, I just want to tell you that this might take longer and this might not work for you the first time. So don't get frustrated. Don't think that I'm not teaching you right. You just got to pay attention and it will, you'll catch on to it. After you make like 10, it will catch on. So try do it along with me. I will do it slow. I will give you really early out directions so you guys can know how to do it. And I made one right here as an example. And warning, when you take it off, you're taking it off like a regular nail polish with nail polish remover. So don't think you can just peel it off, guys. You will get disappointed just busting your face when you try to peel it off. So yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so what I'm showing you guys right now is the materials you'll be needing. You'll be needing a cup with water in it. And don't use any good cup. Use a cup that you know you can throw away. Not a mug. Nothing good and special. Use something that are, is are probably already used and that you don't want anymore. So you might need a hairpin. Now, I, you can use a anything sharp or little that you can just maneuver to make your design. I'm not making a design. And what you would need is nail polish. I'm using gel red nail polish. And yeah, so let's get into it. So I already put in the nail polish in the cup of water. And don't waste too much just put a little amount it will spread and when you put it in there make sure to not put the whole brush in there make sure to just tap it in the water so what you're using the hairpin for is to make a little design to maneuver it and make sure when you're making the design make sure you do it quick like as soon as you put the nail polish in the water because when it dries, it will mess up the design and it will make it so horrible. That's why I'm just not doing a design. So what I'm doing right now is putting tape around my fingers, the borders, so those part won't get sticked and no peel nails, peel on nails can come on it. So that's why I'm doing that. And you can see how I'm securing it. And I'm making sure there will be no spark of failure or mess on my real skin. And nothing bad will happen. Because, you know, you really need that. So I'm showing you guys. I'm going to take off the nail polish I have. And this is the tape I'm using. You don't have to use this tape. But make sure the tape is strong. So I'm about to take off the nail polish real quick. So I just took it off, and I'm going to put my finger in. Now, just put your finger in. Don't try to put it with your hands because you don't want your fingerprints on the nail. And just take those little parts off that's hanging, you know. And what you're going to do is you're going to wait for it to dry. It all's on, and it's going to look weird. That's why you have your tape there protecting it. And you're just going to wait for it to dry. Don't touch it. Fingerprints will go on it. It will look horrible. And it won't look as good. And you see me dancing like, I'm like, stop, Tiffany, stop. Like, stop. Please, please stop dancing. You cannot dance, girl. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to dry. So all I'm doing is just putting... Like, drying my nails, because, well, my nail, my thumb, basically. Waiting for it to dry, because you just need that. Like, some days you just need your nails to dry. Like, there's nothing much you can say about it. Just need your nails to dry. I cannot sing. Please stop trying, Tiffany. Please stop, because you cannot sing, girl. It's okay. You guys could see me taking off the tape. Yes. So when you take it off, make sure you don't just rip it off because it might rip off the nail polish that's on your nail too. So be very careful when you're taking it off. And make sure it's dry. Don't just take it off or it will just rip off the whole thing which you do not want. So take it off. 
and don't do nothing about it. Just if it's wet, leave it because water did touch it. And see how perfect that looks. So thanks for enjoying this video because this, like, when you try it the first couple times, it won't work. And I, like, you gotta focus when you're doing it because don't let nothing distract you. And you just keep on trying, and then you'll get this perfect effect just like mine. I'm actually gonna do it to the rest of my 10 fingers. So, yeah. Hope you take this advice, use it with anything you do, use it. And actually, if you wanna use variety of colors, it's okay to do it. I only had one color with me when I was recording, so don't think that you just have to use one color. You can make designs with them. That's the whole reason why you have it. But make sure you don't wait too long when you start making the designs because it dries really fast. And if you saw me pick it, like pick it up the first time, it you don't want that mess on coming on your nails. So I make sure you please follow those steps and then you will be Thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. Smash that like button. Because, like, it, it, this is telling me, this is not making me get more subscribers or anything. This is me letting, letting, this is you guys letting me know if you liked it or not. If you don't like this video, just leave a dislike button. I won't come after you. I don't even see who dislikes. I just know from the average of people that like or dislike that i won't make more videos like this so please do that and comment down below video suggestions that you guys want me to do because none of you guys have done it yet like honestly do you want guys do you guys want me to make videos you like or want me to make videos that you don't like so please 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 comment down below video suggestion and i will give that to you at asap as soon as possible so bye